guys, happy new year. It's January 1st, 2022, and welcome to my toy room. Uh, it's kind of small and cozy, uh, and I'm just kind of starting out with this. I've had it only for about six, seven months, and it's already getting pretty packed in here with retro stuff and just nostalgic things, and I want to give you a tour and update on what I'm doing. Alright guys, so I don't know where to start, so we're going to start here. This is the lenticular cap from Back to the Future 2. And these are actually Back to the Future 2 Pizza Hut glasses. And back in the 80, late 80s, I don't know if it was 88 or 89 or what movie this was attached to, the second or the third, but it was a Pizza Hut pr promotion. And this is just one of a few styles. Um, and I found a whole bag of mint condition, it's still in package of these and I sold them most of them on eBay and uh, if I can find a photo I will attach it to the video but I had a whole bunch and um, I kept one pair for myself and I, I always wear these um, if it's like just like a summer or spring outage or something I'll wear these two things and then I have a wall of Masters of the Universe vintage that was passed down to me uh, from my fiance's brothers that uh, their, her family had purchased them. This is from Super 7, this is not vintage. These are muscle Super 7, but um, yeah, these are all like, if I were to put them on eBay, they would go for a pretty penny. They'd probably go for about at least a hundred each. And they have, most of them have the, uh, the tags on them, Kmart, two for $5. <laughs> Or this one says like children's palace or child world and these obviously were very liquidated back then and now they'll cost a bundle so I keep them I don't keep them in um, cases or anything because it gives me more room uh, I can just tack them on the wall and I like that and I like to be able the aesthetic to be able to look at them they're just just as they were when they were on the toy shelves back then never been opened so these guys are still in their casings, which is kind of cool. I have mostly He-Man stuff here, to be honest. So this is my Castle Grayskull setup. Um, mostly all vintage, except we have some Origins and Neo, and it's all kind of mixed in there. But they all have the same sort of 5.5 height, which is what I buy from different styles. As long as they're within the same height range, and they're compatible with each other. And again, mostly He-Man stuff, so... You got some vintage and some new ones and here's the batman returns shelf well batman shelf most of it is from batman returns and it does need a little tlc as you can see things are here are kind of a mess it's a work in progress still i i still have the wayne manor playset and a whole bunch of other batman figures to include but these are from like batman returns and i don't i think this is from like um dc I don't know if it was superpowers, but it was just, I don't know if it was the first movie. Maybe it was the first movie. And uh, obviously this is a repaint um, from superpowers. It was a repaint for Batman Returns. And Kenner released that as the Danny DeVito version. Looks nothing like him, but um, got his penguins here. And then we got the Batman Returns Batmobile, which could use, I know, could use some dusting. Joker from the first one. And this is an authentic Batman Returns toothbrush set, never been opened uh, from the early 90s. And I do have some other Batman stuff, uh, the Bat, Ski Boat, the whole play set, and they're somewhere over here. So, again, work in progress. This, I don't, things are going to look a little, like a little mess or whatever. So, this, I guess this is an impromptu horror section, <laughs> but I have the entire collection of Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Uh, mostly purchased from eBay and then a few from comic shops, but that's the whole collection there from based on the 90s cartoon, Tales from the Crypt Keeper. And I got a NECA Jason from the final chapter. Would be cool to just buy them all, all the versions of Jason. Jason, And there's like, I don't know, 13 something odd movies and I think a figure's been made for each of them. So who knows? I don't know if I'll ever get around to doing that, but I got this one as a gift and I like it. So this is the Ghostbuster section. Again, it's a work in progress. This is what you think it is. I'll have to make a video about it, another separate video. 
But yes, that is ecto cooler, and there is ecto cooler in there waiting to be enjoyed. And these are from the Afterlife promotions that I got from uh, AMC online. The cereal that came out with Afterlife, no cereal in there, I ate it all. And just a couple of the new vintage figures. Uh, so they're new vintage, so they're a remake for, of the vintage figures that were popular back when I was a kid in the late 80s, early 90s. Pee-wee's Playhouse. Random stuff. So I'm going to go my light here. And uh, I got this as a gift for Christmas. I don't know where to hang it, so I need to find a place to hang it. And then I have a uh, projector. So that should be cool to figure out what I'm going to do with that. And some Stranger Things action figures. I'm going to have to collect them all now because... They each come with a piece of the Demigorgon, so it should be exciting to collect. But again, some vintage boxes, King Arthur and the Knights of Justice, Bulger Basher, which is not in this box anymore, I opened it. A couple of Beast Wars boxes opened again, toys are out. So the Pee Wee Playhouse play set is, is in there still, it's sealed and it's mint. And it's sealed because I don't have any of the figures to put them in, to put them in, and um, I think it's kind of cool like that anyway. I have this picture when I was a kid and I got it for Christmas 88 and uh, the box is in the photo. So I think part of me just likes to see the box like that. But if I ever get some figures, I will for sure be putting them in there. Some more He-Man, new adventures of He-Man. This is Starship Eternia set up with the power sword in the back and some of the vintage figures from the early 90s cartoon. Then we have some DC Primal Age from, what is it, Super 7? Funko. So it was actually Funko. So Funko released these. I am too shy from a complete collection. I am just missing Lex Luthor and the Joker Beast. But I have all of them, pretty much. And then I have a custom one that I actually made out of an old Spirit Orko. So that's like a wizard. I, I just figured they need an Orgo like character that they didn't uh, put in there. So, Dick Tracy! That is not who you think it is, but it is. It's the blank, but it's a custom blank. It's not the original figure because I don't have a spare 1000 or well, 1k to, to buy the original figure, but this is perfect. Um, this is almost like having the vintage figure, and I will have to go into a video another video to show you how awesome it is because it, it is just like one of these toys it moves around and stuff like that you could take the mask off and all that stuff so this is the dick tracy stuff got comics again this is another video complete another video mystery envelope of goodies from dick tracy back in the day and I, it's mostly the old the whole collection here oh well stay stay okay mostly the whole collection of the figures except for the cars and they never made any play sets well, look what we got here. Some more He-Man. So, <laughs> I'm shocked. So, another evil horde set up. And then this is the popular Savage He-Man. That's like 500 to 1K right now. So, or even more. I don't know. Uh, and then we got a Snake Mountain set up. All these are separate videos. Like, so, I can spend some more time. Pirates of the Dark Water. Love Pirates of the Dark Water. Food Fighters. And then here is sort of a mix. I have McDonald's uh, Power Rangers in the back. I have Ninja Turtles up front. And I have uh, Eternia Minis and the display box from uh, the popular Masters of the Universe Eternia Minis toy line. That during the pandemic, again, this is another video, but during the pandemic, these were crazy. Uh, collectors were running around with their masks and stuff and Walmart trying to find the appropriate ones to complete their collection. More He-Man stuff, so again, I think these are all vintage. And then that's the original He-Man right there in the corner. And then I have an empty slot because uh, it's kind of covered by um, the couch here. I'll have to uncover it soon and put something in there. I don't know. So maybe you guys can give me some suggestions. So then I got a couch here with the, this He-Man. Uh, I don't know what it is called, but it's like a blanket that you get with the sleeves in it. And they're actually pretty comfortable. So what else do we got? Let's just zoom around here. Uh, in the background there, we have Turbo Man and Shazam. And then an old jukebox that I got from my grandma. I mean, it's it's old, new. It's, it's just like an AM, FM radio and cassette player, but we've had it for a while. And 
I think below here is just some random junk that I'm not going to like. <laughs> it's like plastic bins of stuff. This empty space. I used to have the Superman cape, that, but then I, I wore it for a, a convention for PowerCon. So I'll have to figure out if I'm going to put like posters or what here. So maybe you guys can help me with some suggestions. And then up here, uh, for now, I have more Batman Return stuff and Kenner and... Um, and the new adventures, which are now the old adventures. I don't know. But these are like from the 90s cartoons and stuff. This was gifted to me. So we have Deep Dive Batman. And then the the Bat Ski Boat or Sub or whatever it is. And then some other stuff there. Fun stuff. More He-Man stuff, of course. Vintage Masters of the WWE. That's The Rock. Origins in the background. Battle Bones. Undertaker, and then we got some or Origins back there, still in the package. And then goes all the way back, and there's more vintage stuff back there. Uh, so, and then I got a closet full of crap, so you, you guys don't want to see that stuff. So, again, more space to put, like, ten signs. I started with that one, Superman, and then I uh, got some lanyards over here. From when I are many um, escapades at the theme parks and the exclusive events. And look, I never got my cocktail because it was so busy. I wonder if I can go back and get that mocktail. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I really need it. So, uh, and then, oh, this is when for my birthday we went to the Sony lot. And then Disneyland Sweethearts Night. I have a couple of those, a couple of different styles of those because we went to a few hope to go again this February. So, um, this is the Beast Wars Tower. And I don't know, or Totem, or whatever you want to call it. Help me come up with a cool name. It looks like maybe like a Thunder Tower, Tower of Power or something. I don't know. Um, but these are all Beast Wars. And some of these are vintage. These guys are vintage. These guys are vintage and they are transformed because when they they look absurd because they're missing so many parts that they don't look they'll be like a one-legged animal or you know spider that's missing half its body and then these guys this is a vintage tigertron and then a reissue vintage cheetor and then the guys in the these guys on the bottom here are vintage and then the guys in the way bottom are the stars megatron and optimus these are new reissued vintage pretty awesome i never had these as a kid so it's freaking awesome to own them now so let's swing around we got a door with the world's best what are these called this is awesome so this is dick tracy vintage from i, don't, I think a cereal box but this was in the dick tracy loot that i got that's again another story i'm pretty sure this is from a captain crunch cereal box oh well so it goes either way. I like to keep it Dick Tracy here because Dick Tracy is awesome. Okay. Some framed He-Man stuff. That's actual mini comic. And then we got, again, some Origins and some Vintage. And these are Lords of Power. And then these are Rise of Evil Collection, these two guys. And then Vintage right here. So... Again, another blank wall that I can put some super cool, awesome posters or something. Work in progress again. And then these are some photos of me from when I was a little younger, when I graduated high school. Here's me and my brothers, and then me and my brother and my sister. And then down here, out of nowhere, we have Wayne Manor. So I was having a lot of fun with these figures for my uh, toy Instagram, Retro Toyverse. And I was playing around with these for photography and stuff. So I have the Ecto-1 reissue, and I have the vintage Batman, uh, Batcave, Wayne Manor, Batman Returns, along with the reissue Ghostbusters, and then some of the mini puffs that you could find the blind, the blind boxes. And then I got another shelf of super wicked cool stuff. So I have my power glove there. Then I have the Iron Gauntlet, which is just the, the drink holder from Disney um, Land. I don't, it's not the Marvel Legends Gauntlet, uh, which would be kind of cool. And I don't know, maybe I'll get it, but I feel like this uh, $30 
drink cozy is kind of good enough just for display purposes and the jewels on it the details they look super cool anyway and you could also fit a drink in there so hey why not and then uh of course the NECA Casey Jones mask that I wear quite frequently for parties and such a budding collection of street sharks I just have these to start off with they're all vintage and Slobster is missing his antenna and Moby Lick actually is missing his hat. I gave him a Playmobil hat and it works just as good. Again, some more He-Man vintage stuff. And then these are um, Origins. And these this is the Horde 4-pack, the infamous Horde 4-pack that uh, was kind of costly for Power Card, but I got it for my birthday, so it's all cool. And then King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. This is turning into a super long video. But anyway... More King Arthur, some Toxic Crusaders. I need to give some love to. I need a dust to some Dino Riders. And then just like some random stuff. We got Stay Puffed, we'll, you know, some Tax, some Dino Rider stuff, and just some coloring books, another video maybe. And then a quick swing around Captain Man and the Game Master. I got that off on Amazon. That's pretty cool stuff. And this is an episode of Batman, the animated series, one of my favorite episodes Beware the Grey Ghost. I got that off Wish for like six bucks. I just had to wait a month for it. <laughs> but it was like free shipping. So some random stuff here. Ghostbusters blind boxes. Groots, Captain America, Mary with children action figures. A dollar store exclusive He-Man stuff. And then I'm always running Roku on here. And it's got a DVD player on the side. But I also have Plex. So I get my DVDs and I put them on, on, on the Plex through my computer and I just watch them on there that way of course got all the, the big dollars you know Disney Plus HBO Max etc Netflix this is just some stuff that's here that's it's kind of a mess Jumanji Funko uh, just random collections of, of stuff and stickers and CDs this is kind of wicked really cool hopefully it still works I don't know it's been a while since I opened it but if you open this thing Okay, well the battery must have, um, <laughs> the battery must have pooped out on me. I had to replace the battery, but there's a little speaker there. It, the tribal noise is supposed to happen. I actually thought this was the full size video game, video board. Uh, I mean, the game board, sorry. Uh, and it wasn't, so whatever. <laughs> and it was, it was actually, it was like, it was like 17 bucks. And I thought like, oh, I'm getting the full game for 17 bucks. And it's actually a miniature replica. Random stuff down here. A vintage Arico phone and some VHS and some DVDs. Which, since I got Plex, my DVD collection has been steadily growing again. So I've been buying the DVDs so I can put them on the Plex. And that's it for now, guys. So, what did you guys think? Hope you enjoyed the little tour. Um, again, there's a lot of things that I need to do to add a little more customization to make it feel a little more like home though right now coming home from work and stuff it does feel good to come in here and just to get lost in my favorite shows or read a book or like comic books or something or maybe like look at an action figure or two this is uh dustin I gotta open these figures pretty soon i can't wait to get the other ones and uh anyway i think that's gonna be it for now and it, it, hey, if I, I'm always getting new stuff, so hopefully I'll be able to make little videos for each one of these things. I think there's a, be a million videos if I make a video about every little thing here, but um, we'll get it done. So thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. So let's do this again. All right. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Uh -huh.